Hello, Michelle, how are you doing? Uh, I am good. How are you? Welcome to screenbench.com. Thank you. I did my homework on you guys. Oh, you did? Is it, it, it do, do you have a love for Netflix or is that just something like everything is Netflix, going on with Netflix? It's just all things streaming. S streaming. Okay. Yeah. Like Hulu and all that. Okay. Okay. I it's, was like, I saw I'll tell, uh, uh, I'll tell you uh, a little bit okay. about Screen Bench. Basically, uh, we're a group of individuals spread all over the world. Like uh, two of our... Uh, uh, writers uh, or uh, p slash partners are in Canada. Uh, one is uh, doing his work from uh, the U.S. and uh, similarly, uh, there's a guy in Iran who loves to, you know, stream. So we are all uh, movie junkies, Netflix, Netflix junkies. <laughs> so we we connected on a platform and we thought that uh, why not just uh, bring out a website that would, you know, cater um, all solutions for streaming because we love movies, right? So there's nothing better than, than doing what you love. And as, right. an, art, as an artist, you, you would definitely uh, agree, I understand. agree with me. Yeah. Yes, 100%. Yeah. There's, 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 it's, it's, it's just very different. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you love what you do, then you you don't actually work. You just play. Right. right. You just have to get. You just have every to day is fun. It, right? Every day is fun. Right. Yeah. Every day yeah. is fun. A yeah. challenge. Yeah. Um, you know, it's never easy, uh -huh. but it's not like you're working. It's yeah. like you're providing a service. Exactly. If you exactly. will. Yeah. And you would, yeah. uh, I guess, do it for free. I guess. Yeah. A lot of times you, you are doing do, it for free. Yeah, you would even do it for free for the passion. Right, right. Well, you do it for free yeah. until you can get people to, you know, pay. Yeah. You know what I mean? And for the most part, as an artist, you starve for a while. Yeah, you do. Or you do other jobs, and then you come back to, of course. you know, your passion. Uh-huh. Um, I wouldn't take the name, uh, but I do know uh, one of my uh, friends is a very uh, uh, celebrated uh musician in uh, the US, I won't name her up, but um, when she was struggling, she had to do three jobs. Right. right. And to uh, pay bills. Yeah, to pay the bills. And right, right, right. And even with that, she was so hand to mouth. And one day she's like, I got to pay $500 for my uh, car repair or something. And she's like, I have no Not clue. the car repair. <laughs> <laughs> that gives it, that gets us every. It's like you have a great car, yeah. right? And if yeah. it breaks down, yeah. it's like ah, I'm gonna go broke. Yeah. yeah. So you're always, you know, at the edge, and um, as an artist, right. at the edge, and you can, you know, fall off the cliff anytime. That's, right. That's the fear, that's the but beauty. you won't fall. You won't fall. You you know what? I yeah. think that's the, the driving force True. that keeps you creating is that, you know, I'm not going to fall off the cliff, but I'm going to get damn close yeah. and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to do it again. And again, yeah. I think that's the, the fear is what drives you to create. True. It's that fear. True. And you know what I mean? Yeah. And sometimes it goes to the extent of even if I fall off the cliff, I don't give a damn. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'll just get back up, dust myself off, yeah. and do it again. Right. It's like that. You're you're like a, I won't say a junkie, like a you know, but you you are like a like a fear junkie because right. that's all that Hollywood. It's like this exactly. this combustion to make this pearl. You know, like an oyster, it makes this pearl. True. But or or is it a clam? It, it might be a clam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> whichever one makes the oyster. Yeah, but it, I mean, whichever one makes the little pearl. <laughs> um, but you keep doing it, and it's this yeah. combustion and this irritability and this unknowing and this fear that makes you continue to create, and hopefully you get, like, this big bang, and it's mm. something really uh, powerful uh, and moving. Uh, so, uh, Michelle, uh, I must tell you that um, – I have like immense respect uh, for what you're doing with the 
BDPE group. So thank you. So so let's just start with that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how's it going? What's the pur- of course I know what's the purpose, but uh, I would <laughs> I would want you to do you yeah, course, do you really I do. <laughs> well, let me let me tell. You. Okay, yeah. so I started um, BDP entertainment which is blackwell development productions and entertainment so my last name is blackwell so it made sense right (laughs) so it made sense that you know i would do this little production company i was in high school when i started it so it's like it's 30 years old now yeah covid kind of ravaged it kind of Mm -hmm. Um, we're still reeling from that, mm-hmm. but, um, for the most part over the 30 years, I've like rebuild, rebrand this, that, and the third took on partners, let go partners. Um, through it all, I have managed to, as a woman of color, do it my way. Uh-huh. I've sold things. We've produced things, you know, it's up and down. Mm-hmm. It really is. It's a, it's never any w- one thing. You know what I mean? Like as a woman of color in Hollywood, there's always somebody telling you, you can't do this. This is a man's world. This is white guys do this. No, black kids can't do that. You know what I mean? It's oh, it was always something. And for me, it was never, I never allowed that. Now, let me tell you what did drive me away from Hollywood in front of the camera as an actress was the whole me too. When I was back in the nineties, it was, Mm. it was, a lot of the same people that you see, a lot of the famous names you see uh-huh. also attack me or harass me. Mm-hmm. And that made me like run away, which is why I'm such an independent artist right. because Hollywood was very perverted. Mm-hmm. There wasn't anything you could do without somebody going, Ooh, that's cute. Take off your shirt. Yeah. Ooh, that's cute. Let's get into bed together. Come to my hotel, come over my housewarming party and then attack yeah. you. So it was really, Hollywood was really a bad place, but I think it's moving into a really good direction now. Really good direction. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Yeah. It's, I'm so, I'm so thrilled with where it's yeah. going now. So thrilled. Exactly. Like, the like your organization it itself is an example of uh the direction in which hollywood is moving so you know (laughs) it's it's what we do we bring a lot of women and people of color into the mix and not just in front a lot of people are thinking yeah get them in front of the camera but what about behind the camera yeah make a lot of female, you know, my thing is empowerment of women and people of color, make them bosses and they will continue to bring in other people. We can't just stop at one or two, you know, especially, um, uh, people of color. We can't just stop there and make them our employees. We have to create bosses. And I think that's my purpose is creating bosses like female bosses, people of color that are bosses. That's how you grow. Uh-huh. and stay on track with uh-huh. you know what i mean right and be fair for everybody i think uh-huh. so uh, let me tell you a small story of uh okay. how important it is to bring in uh women into the workforce uh because they have such a positive impact uh a few years back i was doing an odd job which was uh you know kind of uh physically draining and all but somehow my manager read some random book on management and he realized (laughs) that uh, bringing in women uh, bringing bringing in women uh, has a very positive correlation with uh, productivity and uh, as they started bringing in more and more women uh, the organization not only flourished, but it, it kind of, you know, went, thrived. Yeah, it, it went beyond uh, their uh, forecasts. So then uh, we actually saw the kind of, you know, uh, potential that women can have, uh, the, the kind of positive impact that women can have on, you know, uh, work. On business. business. I mean, here, here's, here's, here's what we say. 
yeah. as women, we say, as long as you have women in there, you're going to eat, you know, <laughs> because women make sure that everything is done yeah. and that money you make because yeah. you don't eat, you don't make no money. Right. True. So women make sure <laughs> that uh, business is taken care of yeah. all the rest, all the partying and yeah. dating and all that. And that comes second money, business, productivity comes first for yeah. women. Yeah. And then all the rest, you yeah. know, we, we like to party. We like to, you know, hang out, but yeah. you know, you don't see too many female bosses marrying mm -hmm. their, you know, uh -huh. assistants. So it, it's about creating, creating stability mm -hmm. and, and, and I don't know, uh, security true. and making sure everybody eats. That's that the is, goal. That is very true. Actually. Right. Yeah that's it like your mom make sure you eat she don't care what she got to do yeah. just make sure her babies eat yeah. so that's how women look at look at their at their the people they work with and for and who work for them uh -huh. they make sure everybody eats let's all uh -huh. eat all be good mentioning mom uh today my mom had her second covid uh, vac vaccination and uh, her arm was kind of you know aching and yeah yeah and she was so tired because she's been she was uh there waiting since like uh for six hours or something because uh, uh a lot of people have suddenly uh woken up and have started getting the vaccinations earlier, right yeah earlier they were uh not so um quick to respond but right suddenly, they were thinking suddenly, you're gonna track so, yeah, me with this yeah and suddenly <laughs> they're they're just going and getting the vaccinations done and Can despite being so tired she made sure that the dinner is on the table and from the part of the world i belong to we do live in a complete joint family system so yeah see can i ask where you are uh, I'm where from are you pakistan. located i'm from pakistan correct okay so you're yeah. yeah okay so yeah you. uh here in america i'm um i'm in california and i just got mine a couple weeks ago uh -huh. and it didn't hurt one lick i was like wait i didn't even feel the needle going that's True. how that it was like i was like wait yeah. what and they were putting the band-aid on it's like the the whole build-up and all the alcohol and all this stuff you're like ah. and it was like ah. she did it and yeah. i was like wait what so now we got to go um, get my second one in June. Right. And my birthday is in June. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's right before my birthday, I'm going to go get the second COVID shot and, uh, and hopefully I won't get sick or, you know, you, you get like the easy part either in the beginning or the second shot. People say, Oh, the yeah. first shot was great. The second shot was terrible. Yeah. Some people say the first shot was terrible. The second shot is nothing. So yeah. I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> I'll see. Yeah. My husband, he was like, Ugh. Really? my daughter was yeah. like uh, uh, <laughs> and i was like hi what's going on <laughs> nothing happened that's I'm like, great. That's great. <laughs> it'll be the opposite way yeah. next time so yeah. congratulations to your mom did you get it did you get the vaccine um uh, basically um uh, they are um it's uh, a yes or no it's a yes or no not yet no, not, <laughs> not yet <laughs> Not yet, okay. because because I have I have my valid reasons. Uh, because okay, uh, let's the, go. The government is uh, uh, doing it in uh, age brackets, right? So oh, okay. So, so you guys yeah. are still at that, yeah. like we were before. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like you fall in that awkward over twenty five exactly. and under sixty, right? <laughs> yeah. That was that was here yeah. like six months ago, and then yeah. it's going to be. Let me just tell you, if it's anything yeah. like here, it's going to be get your vaccination. Get your. They're like they're like giving lotto tickets and stuff here, college wow. tuition and stuff like that. Right. It's like it's like serious business here now. Wow. So yeah, just wait till they start giving stuff away. And then <laughs> like they'll give you lotto tickets. Like somebody won a million dollars, just uh, you know, a drawing. Yeah. yeah, wait till they start doing that and then and then take it. <laughs> I would have waited. <laughs> I didn't know they were giving stuff away. They're giving like Laker tickets and you yeah. know, Super Bowl tickets to the new stadium. It's like, and I just went and took mine for free. I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> Yeah, so wait till they start giving out all the perks. Then take it. <laughs> no, no, I'll be a responsible person and get my vaccination. Okay. It opens, all right, it, well. it opens up in a week or so. So 
uh, hopefully I okay. won't have to wait much. So, yeah. So good luck with that. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Michelle, I consider you as a great uh, 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 influence behind the, you know, as a great support uh, behind the Black Lives Matter uh, uh, thing. I think when we say, as a person of color, when we say Black Lives Matter, right. we're not saying anything about other lives True. because that's not the focus. Exactly. The focus is stop killing us Black people. Right, right. Our lives matter like everybody else's. Exactly. Of course, all people of color are targeted. Black people just seem to be targeted for zero reason. There's exactly. zero reason why they're targeted. Um, just because you can't see my hands, yeah. well, it doesn't mean that I have a gun. True. But for some reason, the cops in America think that because they can't see your hands, you have a gun in them when you pull them around. Yeah. So we need to, you know, we do mean Black Lives Matter. Exactly. It's a very simple, direct statement, Black Lives Matter. Exactly. Um, Everybody else, you know, there's Asian hate, stop Asian hate, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Everybody creates their own thing. Yeah. Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. um, if you were here, you would not be a part of Black Lives Matter. You would probably, there's a movement going on. I think the Jews and um, the, the um, Palestine people. Yeah, yeah. And there's everybody has there's the Iran the uh, are they Iranian everybody has their movement, yeah. um, and we all have our this is the thing police officers are not necessarily here to be our friend when they're in uniform it's not that they're meant to be our enemy of but course. they're not coming you know what I mean I don't call the cops because you said hi yeah. I call the cops because you want to do something to me and yeah. I need a bully to come bully you up so uh -huh. you'll get away from me. Right. Uh -huh. So, I mean, in that respect, I, a lot of people say defund and all this other kind. I don't think that's the answer. Mm -hmm. um, we got to come up with an answer, but we really do call the cops to kind of do what they do, True. not kill us, of course, of course. Um, but <clears throat> to do what they do. So it's like you don't want to. It, it, cops are those kind of people who you could get them to where they're totally complicit and don't do anything or you get a bullying up. So it's like, we don't want either of those, but it's like, if you tell them you're being too, you're going over the top, will they not do anything and just go on the job and just drive by places, not, not even stop, you know what I mean? Won't show up. Mm -hmm. So gotta be careful what we do because they're big babies. <laughs> they're like, wait, I got in this job to be a bully and now you don't want me to bully. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna do anything, you know? So, you know, like a big baby. Uh -huh. So I'll probably get in trouble for saying that, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but black lives matter yeah they do right <laughs> and women's lives matter of course they do right well in in hollywood it's really bad because the business we're in they not only discriminate against people of color but women yeah and it's um it's amazing how it hollywood just doesn't it's like Hollywood seems to think, okay, we'll appease you. We'll let a few of you in. We'll stop doing this. And then it'll just go back to being that bad kid again. Sure. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like racism and, and sexism and all these things can't be temporary. It has to be permanent. Uh -huh. But I guess you can't ask for, I, I can't ask a man to stop doing what, I can't ask a nasty man to stop doing what a nasty man does. I just have to get away from him. Yeah. I just have to keep him away from me. Yeah. So in in order to get those bigots and those sexist people out of Hollywood, we have to take Hollywood over. True. Unfortunately, we hate to discriminate against, you know, then white men will start feeling like you're discriminating against us. It's reverse discrimination. Yeah. Um <laughs> it, it's you know, it's so sad, right? It is. Um, but we have to take we have to take it over if we're going to um if we're going to change because you can't change and leave the element in there, unfortunately. So very well said. Can you hear my cat? Uh, I can't. My cat is going crazy. I can't, but I'm glad you can't hear my dog. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you just got like these animal farms, right? Yeah. They only want to do it when you're on Zoom. Of they course, only want to do yeah, it when you're yeah. on Zoom. He, he's ruined so <laughs> many of my interviews. And I'm like, sorry, that's my... That's my doctor. <laughs> right. It's like I'm sitting here doing a, a class because we we give um, the, the way the company gives back is we give uh-huh. online classes for virtually free, like five dollars for the seat charge or something like that. Uh-huh. So we give like acting classes, producing classes, writing classes, uh-huh. all that kind of stuff. You can go to Hollywoodbackdoor.com is how you get to that. But we give these classes and my and my cat will come. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. And then she'll start eating uh-huh. and just like crunch, crunch. I was like, oh my God. Uh-huh. Oh my God. So yeah. So cats are adorable. When you have animals. Yeah, cats are adorable. I, I uh, used to have a cat. She passed away this April. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She was 18. She was 18. He was 18. Yeah. She, she was 18. Yeah. Okay. I think ours is about five. And she's such a heifer. She just likes to act up whenever you're doing anything. She just wants to like, oh, meow. Okay. This is her world, though. You know, if you try to tell a cat to get, they'll just look at you and it's like, <laughs> They're it. like, I'm the master and you're the... <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, I want to be here. Yeah. I want to be here. And you can put them down and they'll walk back in your screen. You're like, really? I'm giving yeah. a class here. Yeah. And she'll just walk through. And then they'll sit there and... <laughs> True. It's like, really? <laughs> and then purr right in your ear phone. She'll just purr. Yeah. yeah. So welcome to my world. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, Michelle, uh, you've also been a writer. Um, you've been in the acting business as well. Uh, uh, do you want to say anything uh, to your audience? I mean, there are a lot of people who follow you, who know about you, and are definitely proud of you, just like I am. So thank you. So yeah, any any. I love you for that. <laughs> thank you. I know I love you for standing up for people of color. You know, it's it's. it's thank. You. Is it like we can do this fist, right? <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. Boom. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you have tattoos on your fingers. Maybe, you have tattoos maybe Ooh. <laughs> we'll talk about that later right we'll talk no, about that know. later oh no oh, i thought hairy. you had tattoos just very hairy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all good though yeah that's 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 a trait that's a, like a that's like a trait right yeah. uh very hairy <laughs> I, I like your your beard and goatee that thing is looking really nice no. coming in you look like the weekend oh my god a celebrity, yeah. a celebrity. Yes. Uh-huh. We're, we're gonna put, we're gonna put you and the weekend next to each other, and you guys will be like, uh-huh. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's a. Uh, what you. would I like to say? So, yeah, what, what would I, what would I say? You know what? I would, I would definitely say that it's more than a struggle mm-hmm. um, to to get into the entertainment industry. Uh-huh. But as long as you have a goal and a dream, Mm -hmm. there's people like myself, Mm -hmm. uh, BDP Entertainment Group or BDPEG, Mm -hmm. uh, BDPE Group, Hollywood Backdoor definitely can can assist in breaking in because Hollywood Backdoor is all about if you can't get in through the front door, come around back, right? Which is how a lot of people of color had to get in Hollywood. They had to literally use the back door. So um hollywood backdoor alliance is there for people if they need i mean and it's global now right because of the pandemic thank you one good thing about the pandemic is it allowed me to get online and really um be able to help people and give back my whole company everybody pretty much everybody in the company gives you know their time to classes and uplifting um new talent and people who just have a voice and they want it to be heard and i think that's the one thing I would say. If you have a, a passion and you want to say something to the world, definitely oh. say it. Make it happen. Do not, mm-hmm. do not leave this earth without making your voice heard and you're getting your point across. That's what I would say. Thank you so much for your definitely. time, uh, Michelle. I know uh, you must be having a busy day ahead. 
And I have a busy day ahead and then the holiday, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Happy. Do you guys celebrate Memorial Day or right? Is that no, what holiday is coming up? Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> Okay. 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 <laughs> See, and I'm going to bring you in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to bring you in and you're coming to America. You're going to, you're going to celebrate the holidays and everything that we celebrate, but uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Cause I think it's evening there. No, it's, and it's um, actually, uh, uh, let me check the time. It's around uh, 1135 uh, PM. Yeah. So you should be asleep right now. Right. <laughs> Yeah, sort of. Technically, yeah. yeah. And I just will. It's it. You guys are a, a twelve hours difference. Yeah, exactly. Or is it exactly twelve hours? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. It was a blast. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, giving us your time, uh, Michelle. I really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Take care. You too. I had a great Bye. time. Goodbye. Me too. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much.